Well, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, that was a weak ass clap. Let me try this again. Woo! So, this video here contains some possible information about Pokemon Sun and Moon. If we scroll down here, we see Solgaleo and Lunala trademarks filed in Japan, possible Pokemon Sun and Moon mascots. Now, just think about this for a second. If you think about Solgaleo and Lunala, think about this. Sol represents solar, and Luna represents lunar. So, right off the bat, you've got to be thinking, okay, these right here have got to be the title legendaries. But let's go ahead and scroll down here just a little bit. See, we got the Sun and Moon logo going on. Woo! So let's see here. In Japan, Game Freak has filed for a couple of interesting trademarks. The Pokemon developer registered the names Sol Galeo as well as Lunala. Folks are now speculating that these two could be the mascot starters in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Now, something that doesn't exactly make any sense. Why would they say mascot starters? I mean, uh, last I checked, a Pokemon mascot has never ever been a starter for a game, unless you want to count Pikachu for a uh, Pokemon Yellow version. But I'm talking about where legendaries are actually starters. That has never happened before, but who knows? Can you imagine if you actually had a legendary as a starter for a Pokemon? That would be one of the most far-fetched things that would ever happen, but I think it would actually be pretty cool. But anyways, check this out. A trademark for Gigareki was also registered separately, but it's not entirely clear what the names for is for at present. So here's the thing. Here's what I'm thinking. Now, if this word right here, starters, let's just ignore the word starters for a sec, okay? Mascot. So generally speaking, for every generation, uh, you would have two title legendaries, and then there, there would be a third legendary that would be the supposed third wheel that would actually have an interesting backstory that would actually tie the legends of those two title legendaries together. I mean, if we take, for example, Groudon and Kyogre, which represents Ruby and Sapphire, and then you got Rayquaza, which represents Emerald. Rayquaza ties the three together because it is the controller of both the land and the sea, so to speak, you know what I mean? Even though it's the ruler of the sky, it is pretty much the leader of the weather trio. And then you take Palkia and Dialga, for example, from the Diamond and Pearl franchise, and then you got Giratina, which is thrown into the mix, uh, and so on and so forth for Reshiram, Zekrom, and then Kiram. <coughs> My voice just cracked, holy shit. And then in the most recent generation, where you have Zygarde being the uh, supposed uh, leader of the legendary trio, being Xerneas and Eveltal, because Zygarde is the Order Pokemon. So it's a possibility that these three names could in fact be the uh, names for the three legendaries. More specifically, the two legendaries being Sol Galileo as well as Lunala, which clearly represents Sun and Moon, uh, at least through implication of the names here. Uh, so let's go ahead and keep reading this. While it's unknown if any of these trademarks are actually tied into Pokemon Sun and Moon, the possibility is certainly there. We can look forward to receiving official information on the two games within the next few weeks. So, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that these these right here, they look pretty solid right now. But then I kind of did a little bit more research. I wanted to go on to Cerebi, which is where I'm at right now. I want to do a little more research here. And what I read right here was really, really interesting. So check this out. So... It's even on the, today's article, Potential Trademarks. So, it has been discovered that back in February 2016, two trademarks were registered for Sol Gallo and Lunala. Many have speculated that these are the legendary Pokémon for Pokémon Sun and Moon due to the format of the trademark. However, unlike the majority of Pokémon trademarks, these trademarks weren't registered by Nintendo, Game Freak, or Creatures, Inc., but rather listed under the name Yusuke Inoue, I apologize if I butchered that name, uh, upon research, appears to be an IP lawyer in Japan. Okay, so that right there was a red flag for me. I'm thinking, okay, hold on a second. Uh, if these were not officially trademarked by any of the given companies, that'd be Nintendo, Game Freak, Creatures, Inc., 
then we can't say that these are going to be 100% true because for all we know, these could be completely fake and a complete hoax and we could just be getting our hypes up for nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, let me just continue on here. It is possible that this is just a registration via proxy, which does happen from time to time, but it is 100% not confirmed that these trademarks pertain to Pokemon. We'll bring more details as they come, so keep checking back. So that's exactly what I'm going to keep doing, and I'm going to do my very best to try and keep you guys in line with this and try and keep you guys in the uptake about this, because I want to get you guys hyped up for this. I mean, god damn, this is amazing. Pokemon Sun and Moon! Now, say, suppose that these names are real. Sol Galeo and Lunala. How cool would those names actually be? I mean, I think it'd be actually kind of cool, because, like, just like I said, like, the two names... You take Sol, which represents Solar, and then Luna, which represents Lunar. Like, those are so cool. And then if we go back to the third page, if we, sorry, if we go back to this page here for the third name, Gigareki, I mean, like, what, what, what does this Pokemon, the name, supposedly represent? Like, what, what could this be? Could this be the representation of balance between night and day, between sun and moon? Could this represent the Earth or something like that? I mean, I don't know. This, like, this, this, is, this is some juicy information right here, but it's not juicy enough because it's not 100% confirmed. So, um, with that, I'm going to end the video and ask you guys, what are your thoughts for this right here? Like, do you guys think that this is legit? Do you guys think that this is not legit? I mean, I want to hear this from you guys. I want to start up a discussion. So, with that being said, I'm going to end this video off right here. And with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash it with your knees with the like button. Woo! Let's see if we can smash five knees with the like button. And if you guys want more videos like this, make sure you rate, comment, share, share, share this video, and subscribe today to Mega Crash on the community, because you already know the deal about that, my friends. When we're a community tightly packed and tightly knit as one, you know, woo, that we shine brighter than the sun and the moon combined. No pun intended, because we're talking about Pokemon Sun and Moon. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next up now!